we've made one or two changes at youth team level, and we're, we're hoping that we get a, you know that our just rewards in another couple of years. But Louis Moat coming on the other day, he's only 17, local lad. Um, you know, it's fantastic to be able to bring a young player on, especially someone who's born and bred in Stoke-on-Trent. You know, we've got Wilkinson who's come from this area as well. So, you know, it's, yeah, it's really, really good. And the, I think the supporters appreciated, you know, having a local boy or two in the team. Uh, John Carew, he scored uh, three goals in three games against Stoke. Will you be looking to cut off supply to him when you play them? Cut his legs off. Uh, I think that's what we'll do. We'll try and do that. That will be a good option for us. No, he's done, you know, obviously his goal scoring record has been good, not just against Stoke, but against other teams as well. He's a, he's a very, very formidable opponent and one that we, uh, you know, I, I think the players should relish playing against players like that and not be nervous. And are there any other Villa players that you're looking to uh, we close enough, down? We've got enough time to go through it. Um, you know, you can start Young, Downing, Milner, Petrov, Heskey, Agbonlo. You can just go through it. You know, they've got top, top players. And, um, you know, it's uh, they're very close, you know, to getting in the top four this year. They've been to one Wembley Cup final. They've got a great chance of getting to an another uh, Cup final. So, um, you know, I think that shows what a great team they are. And uh, the game at Villa Park was very even. Uh, Villa just snatched it in the end. Do you think that now that you're the ones with home advantage, you might be able to return the favour? Um, if we get a referee's decision like we got down at Villa Park, if we get it in our favour, we've got a chance.